Here with third year women's co-head coach Brooke Storr as we get ready for conference tournament week. Coach, uh, it's hard to believe it is here, but you hit the tournament, not the ending of the season you wanted, but certainly this veteran presence that you have has been on a run before they know what it takes to win in Katy. What does that mean to this team? Well, I think, you know, everybody's sitting around going, that's in the conference tournament going, all right, we're zero and zero. And, and you hope you, that you learned and grew, and grew from those experiences that you had in the regular season. Um, and the fortunate thing for us is we've got a group, a core group that's experienced that. We've got a core group that's experienced going in as a four seed and winning three games in three days and um, getting on a run at the right time. And, you know, you can have one or two things go your way and uh, advance the next day and then one or two things go your way and advance the next day. So, you know, we can't look at it as, as sitting here saying, oh, we didn't get the bye. We've got to play four games in four days. So we've got to beat UCA. And if you don't take care of that first matchup, then, um, you know, you don't get to play another day. And our players understand that. You know, we visited with them about that. They, they get that. They understand that. They know that. Um, you know, we play tournament basketball all year long, uh, possession type style, and, and that's what we'll face against UCA. We know possessions are going to be limited, and we've got to be able to execute and score. Um, I thought we did that very well in the first half against them here in, in the last meeting and um, missed a lot of easy layups in the second half, but um, it's going to be a tough game. You know, we've, we know that we're going to have to go out and execute and, and be able to score the basketball on Thursday in, in order to advance. and. Um, it's exciting, you know. It's March Madness, and that's what this time of year is all about. It's the team that, the teams that still want to be playing, and the teams that want to win the most and, and make the fewest uh, mistakes are usually the ones that advance. What does the fact that you played UCA twice, you've played Nichols twice, who who would be your second round opponent should you win? Uh, you've played Lamar once. I mean, you have played everybody, but you also have wins over UCA and wins over Nichols. What does that do for a team, confidence-wise, knowing that you can? beat these teams well, or I think you have it, beaten these teams I think it you know it, it's it is what it is we've we've won we've also lost we know that we can compete with it's the same thing I've said all year long we know that we can compete and beat anyone in this league when we execute and play the way we're capable of we also know that we can lose to anyone in this league when we don't do those things and um, I think for our team knowing that you know we've we've gone head to head and um, beaten UCA, we've also lost to them. We know that there are things that we need to do to, uh, to put ourselves in a position to win. We know that things that we have to do to stay away from um, in order to win. And I think that, you know, the same thing said for Nichols. You know, it's, a, it's both are gonna be tough games. You know, I hope we get to that point where we're, we're focusing on Nichols, um, but we'll get to that when, when, it, when the time gets there. As a staff, we prepare, we'll prepare for, you know, four games, but We've got to got to focus all of our energy and effort on on competing and beating UCA on Thursday. Um, but like I said, it's tournament time, and the teams that that make the fewest amount of mistakes and the teams that play the best together on any given day. Um, you know, we're not looking at a three-game series. We're looking at a one-game, show up, go play, see who wins uh, type of deal. And and our players understand that, especially our returners that that play a lot of minutes for us. And no one played more minutes than Janelle Perez. No one had a better season for you than Janelle Perez. And even with the finish, she was honored by the conference, first team all conference. I think that goes from what we've seen all year. You would think that would go without saying, but she's certainly most deserving. Yeah, you know, we don't focus a lot on individual awards, um, but the, the season that she's had, uh, especially in conference play has been incredible. When you look at her numbers and what she's done from an efficiency standpoint, the numbers she's put up, I think she's averaging in, in conference play 19 and a half points. And to shoot the percentage from the field and from the free throw line and from three, um, and to do it in, in such an efficient man, man, manner has been incredibly impressive. I, I would not be um, shy to say that she, there's not a more valuable person um, or influential person to, her, to their team in this league than what she is to our team. Um, when you look at terms of points per possession and, and plus assist, what she does for our team, the amount of scoring that she creates, uh, not only for by herself, but what she creates for others is, has been unbelievable. Um, and to see her do that with the defenses that she's faced throughout the season, you know, she's every, every team's main focus. Um, and that's the, the thing about her is she just continues to, to produce and do so in game-winning fashion, do so when we're down big, we're up big. It, she's, she's just been really consistent for us and just carried us through a lot of um, times where we couldn't score or, or 
times that we were scoring very well. And I'm, I'm proud for her. Um, she would sit here and say, Coach, I just want to win. And I think that that's what makes her special is that she just wants to win. And it doesn't matter what individual award she gets, what individual award she doesn't get. She just wants her team to win and for us to do something special as a program. And I think that's a credit to who she is. But um, I think she would sit here and tell you the same thing of, Coach, I'm not worried about an individual award. I just want our team to hold up a trophy at the end of the season. And I think that ultimately that's what you want. How is this team equipped to handle? I mean, you are the defending tournament champions. Uh, how is this team equipped to handle? Do you feel it? Do you feel there's a bigger bullseye because of that? Or would you have felt that maybe as a top seed? I, I think, you know, I think the pressure is on SFA. You know, they were picked to win. They won the regular season and, you know, now they're trying to make it to the NCAA tournament. And um, I think when you can go wire to wire like that and, and win the regular season, that tells you a lot about your experience. That tells you a lot about your depth. That tells you, you know, that you had some things go right and you were able to win some close games. And you've got to credit those guys uh, for being able to do that. You know, Brandon does a, a great job with his group and those seniors have really stepped up. I don't feel that there's pressure for us to win. I feel like there's pressure that I put on myself every day for our team to be great and you know as a coach that's probably unrealistic um, but that's who I am and that's how I, I try to prepare our team. I don't feel pressure for this group to win just like I didn't feel pressure when we were picked number two in the preseason. It's a different year you know I think if you went back and looked at preseason rankings which we don't ever put any stock into you can go back and look at the two teams that were in the championship game or won the regular season the year before and they're picked to win it. And injuries happen, kids leave your program, kids graduate, you know, every year's a new year. And it's interesting to see how teams develop throughout a season. And I think that that's all the things that happen during a regular season culminate for that one weekend. And you just hope you have your team ready to play and headed in the right direction. Excellent, thank you coach.